All right, guys, real quick. I'm gonna throw this video in here. We got the fan mod on the X3. For anybody around the X3, we got the fan mod between the seats. I'll pull it out in a second, show it to you. Found this little puppy here, little four inch, bendable, uh, adjustable little piece of pipe. And also, walking through Lowe's, I found this. It's a uh, roof flashing. I'm thinking we can mount that behind the fan mod and suck hot air straight off the turbo or something like that. At least that's the plan. So. Let me get in here. I'm going to push this X3 back a little bit. Hold on. Let me push it back a little bit. Hold my door open. All right. Like I mentioned before, it's uh, it's just plugged in here. Set the camera down so I can unhook it without tearing something up. There we go. It's just hooked in to... Uh, well, you can't hardly see it at all. I don't know how well you can see it. Just a little battery tender plug. That's the only thing. Giving it power. Then uh, you just unhook that. Pop it loose. Up and out. And easy peasy. So, here's my plan. I well, probably should have washed this thing first. There's a little spray off the inside. It's been too cold and nasty weather. So, here's my plan. Probably going to have to trim that down a little bit. They had a small one. I may have got the too big one, but there's a the center cover with the fan mod on it. My plan is to flip this sucker around backwards here. I had some tape on it just for just for the first run. See how it would do. It was sucking cold air from the bottom. I'm thinking this baby right here may fix that. Let's see. Uh, I think that's gonna be about perfect. I'm gonna do some trimming. Do some measurements, cut it down. I'll do that now. Uh, I'm gonna pull this tape back off, but I'm gonna pull the tape off. And our plan is to mount this on there using these same four bolts that hold the fan on. Just pull the nuts off, measure, trim this, put us four holes in it, and put it on. And the cover actually sets angled like this a little bit inside the machine. What I'm gonna do is when I mount this, I'm gonna flip it this way so it's it angles. Get it where y'all can see it here. Where it angles down, it'll actually come out straight. So it should go straight back towards the turbo. Now, I don't know how much of this pipe I'm gonna need. So I'm gonna trim this, get it fitted, get it put on the back here, and get that tape off. And then I'm going to pop it back in the machine and actually see where it comes out. Might not even need the pipe. That might run straight back to the turbo right there. Uh, well, it's going to be real close. Might not even need the pipe. That might just be a, a trim bolt and go type thing. And then we'll try it out on the next ride. I got it trimmed out. 
I ain't the best, but it's going to work. I'm going to use the top two bolts. The bottom two bolts are probably up in here. They're not going to reach. So I'm going to mount the top two bolts, bend this bottom around, and get it setting down flush. Get this little gap out of it right here. And then I might just throw some tape across the bottom. So I don't have any more bolts and these aren't going to reach. Uh, the small one may work better, but we're going to make this one work. Because I'm not making another trip to Lowe's. So we'll use the top two bolts and then we'll probably just duct tape it around the bottom. And see how that goes. I think this is going to be close enough to the turbo that I'm not even going to have to use the pipe. So we'll get her, we'll get her mounted up. And then we'll throw it in, see if it works any better. See, see what kind of clearance we got. Got her on, got the top two bolts in it. Don't have any bolts currently, so I just taped her down for time being. Give me a couple of bolts, I'll run them through, and I actually even ran out of tape. So I didn't make it all the way across. I was two or three inches short on tape. That's what it looks like. Things gonna work pretty good. Let's stick her in. We'll give her a test fit. See how she looks. Can't see much in here. Hey Carter, yeah, go around passenger side. Hit me, hit me with a light. Here we go. Oh, seat's a little wet. Let's see what kind of clearance we get. I ain't gonna see much on camera as far as the clearance goes. Mm, can't really tell. Look at it. All right, she's on there. I think I might fire it up. Might take it for a test spin, let it get up the temperature. Let's do that. What do you think, Carter? You wanna try it out? Fire it up, take it down the road, let it warm up. Let me get a key. All right, I'm gonna fire it up, let it warm up, take it down the road, try it. That way if, uh, if it starts melting, I won't be out in the middle of the woods with my X3 on fire. That's never, ever good ever we'll ride it let it warm up get it up temperature then maybe do some back roads running that helped tremendously steady hot heat top and bottom of the fan didn't get it got it warm did a couple miles but you start riding and getting that turbo real hot that's gonna help Unreal. yeah it turned out real nice i like that a lot all right so we can call it a night because i ran out of propane but real quick had to miss your buddy so we threw it by going out here and uh Decide to trim this little rubber boot out and put my pipe in, which looks something like that. And then you could bend it and shape it, whatever. It was too long, it was hitting the oil feed. So we popped half of it off, but it just pops apart. Don't need that where we're going. And I'm left with this. So it basically sits on the machine just like that. And that directly feeds the fan straight dead off the turbo. So it goes on the machine like that. The turbo sets pretty much here. And then the oil line comes up this way. So pretty much turbo sets about here like this. And I'm within half an inch of the turbo, quarter inch of the turbo. So it ain't touching it. Don't think we'll have any problems there. It's aluminum, should be okay. But I wanna give you an update before we go out and test it this weekend, or maybe tomorrow, depending on what the schedule looks like. But stuck that through there. I snipped the end. I snipped the other end like this. I cut it like every two inches, made little tabs. And then once I put it up in a rubber boot, I flexed it together, made it smaller so it fit in the boot. And then once I got it in the boot, 
I soak my hand down in here and bend all them tabs back up around the edge. Just like this. Bend them all up and around to hold it in. I mean, it's... I mean, I'm picking it up. It ain't going anywhere. Super lightweight. And I mean, it's, it's within this much of the turbo. It should do fantastic. So, little update for you. That's what she looks like. Maybe finished product, maybe not. We'll see how the duct tape holds up. It's pretty strong stuff. Uh, it was kind of hard to get the old tape off. So it's got two bolts in it, can't go anywhere. That more or less just holds it up against the plastic, keeps it from bouncing. So that's what we got. It's what it looks like. The front, the back, pretty sharp. Very happy with how it turned out. And now we should have super heat and also that should cut down on some of the splashing coming up from the bottom because all your bottom now is protected from all that so directly off the turbo four inch hole flares out feeds the whole fan turned out super nice i like it but we'll see you in the trails and let you know if it helped any how much it helped all that good stuff over the previous uh first review of the fan mod she looks real nice. All right, Carter, what do you think about heater mod, part two? I'm pretty good. About 29 degrees outside. About 70, 75 in there. I don't know, it's warmed up a little bit out here. I don't know, it might be low 30s. But part two of the heater mod, that thing is working. Unbelievable. Coming down the road, down the main road, uh, this closure don't seal up the best. It's got a gap in it right here. And it's got a gap up here on top. Uh, and the windshield doesn't seal real great. So coming down the main road, it doesn't, uh, can't tell much of a difference from, you know, the first fan mod when we put it in to the little pipe and stuff I added on the back. Can't tell much of a difference on the main road just because it lets so much air in where it's not sealed real good. But coming down the trails, once we got to the trails, started getting pretty warm. Now we're working our way down through Pinnacle Creek waiting on uh jesse and jay on a little birthday ride here on sunday and uh it's getting really warm in there it is going really nice almost almost t-shirt weather in there so i'm gonna say i'm gonna say in the trails it probably doubled the heat uh the whole the whole fan top bottom both sides all of it super warm now i don't have any cold spots in it anymore don't get any fumes and it also took uh right behind that cover is uh an outlet for your clutch so the clutch noise was louder with this scoop that comes up to a little four inch hole right dead on turbo it took a lot of that clutch noise back out too so definitely a lot warmer in there we're in there no gloves it's 30 degrees we're in a light sweatshirt and what we always wear and uh almost warm enough to cut the fan down got the fan running on about 90 or so uh zero fogging on the windshield now i think it's blowing warm enough air to keep the whole thing you know clear so that's working out real nice definitely definitely worth it uh i think the fan mod a new center cover the fan the speed controller everything i think it was like 73 dollars the little cover i put on the back and the four inch piece of pipe was uh 17 dollars worth every penny here they are here they are Little birthday ride for the J there. He wanted to get out rip. Jesse ran into some malfunctions. He's, he's riding co pilot with his co pilot. You get a shot at co pilot. Looking good. Look real good. Yeah, but a little extra I put there on the fan mod. Fantastic. Uh, we thank you for watching. And we'll what? See you next time? Yep. See you next time. We might not be able to go all the way through the creek.